Hey guys, it's Vethal Jane. Welcome back to my channel. So today I thought that I would show you what I'm gonna eat today to lose weight. I am trying to lose 10 pounds. I shared that with you guys in my previous video. Um, I gained weight last year when I was really sick. I was on bed rest for six to seven months, so I didn't move much and I gained 10 pounds. So now I am healthy again and my doctors have okayed me to try to lose a little bit of weight and to start exercising a bit again. I'm gonna show you some of my favorite recipes at the moment that I'm eating to, you know, kickstart my little weight loss journey this year of losing 10 pounds. So let's just get started with the video, get started with breakfast, and then I'll take you guys along through the day with me and show you what I eat. So I did actually have breakfast already this morning, but I did film some clips, so I'll show you what I had, and then I'll film everything else that I eat for the rest of the day. I haven't had overnight oats in months, but I decided to try a slight variation to my other overnight oats recipes. I prepped this one last night to have this morning, but it's very easy. To a jar, I added half a cup of rolled oats with two teaspoons of chia seeds. Then what I've been doing is adding some protein powder. I use this dairy-free vanilla protein powder. I add half a scoop, which is about two tablespoons tablespoons then some almonds and some walnuts I chop those up roughly you can do either or sometimes I just do almonds or just walnuts but today I just use both I've actually been adding some dried plums or prunes <laughs> I feel like that's such a nerdy food anyway. I haven't had any in years, but they're so good for you So I decided to buy some the other day and they actually taste really good But you could use dates too instead if you don't want to use the prunes Then I added a bit of cinnamon and about three quarters of a cup of water Covered that with a lid and stored it in the fridge last night to soak this morning all I did was ju I just added it to a bowl. This is, this is actually a soup bowl mug thing, but um, I like to eat breakfast out of it. I added some fresh raspberries on top. That's my favorite topping for it. This is so delicious. I love it. It's really filling and it's only about 400 calories roughly, which is a good amount of calories for a healthy weight loss breakfast. been baking a lot of different muffins lately <laughs> I don't know I'm just into that right now that I'll have as a breakfast or a snack and I'm just I'm just winging this recipe today as I show you I wanted to make some healthy chocolate blueberry banana type muffins today so we'll see how they turn out first I'm using about two and a half medium-sized bananas you can use two large bananas or three small ones and then I'm gonna I'm gonna make some oat flour really quickly it's very easy I'm adding two cups of dry rolled oats to a blender and just blending that up and it makes a flour add that to the bowl with the banana then I'm adding about half a cup of protein powder as I wanted there to be some extra protein in them I've used the same dairy-free vanilla one as earlier and about one teaspoon of cinnamon, one teaspoon of baking powder, half a teaspoon of baking soda, and about an eighth of a teaspoon of salt. And then two eggs, which I'm whisking together in a bowl very quickly and adding to the mix. Then I've melted two tablespoons of coconut oil and I'm adding that in. I'm adding some unsweetened almond milk. I wanted to see how the texture was turning out as I was adding it. So I started with half a cup, mixed it up a bit. I ended up adding one cup in total as I went. And then I'm adding two teaspoons of Truvia, which is a mix of stevia and erythritol. But if you're gonna use something else like coconut sugar, honey, maple syrup, use about two to three tablespoons and then about one third of a cup of cocoa powder and one and a half cups of frozen blueberries. I just use frozen ones because they're cheaper and they're easier to store in the freezer, but they work great in muffin recipes. I very lightly greased a muffin tray with some coconut oil, just very lightly, and I'm spooning the batter in about a heap tablespoon amount at a time, just fill up the tray, and then I did the same with the second tray. This amount of muffin batter fills about two trays perfectly, so it makes about 24 muffins. I'm baking that at 400 degrees Fahrenheit or about 200 degrees Celsius for 20 minutes in a preheated oven. You'll know when they're ready when you can pierce one of the muffins with a sharp knife and it comes out mostly clean. If there's like a lot of batter on it when the knife comes out then you probably need to cook it a little bit longer. And once they're done I remove them from the muffin trays, put them on a cooling rack and since I made them fresh today I'm having them fresh, warm out the oven as a snack now. They're so 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 good I promise i topped them with a little bit of nut butter which is one of my favorite ways to eat muffins like a teaspoon amount per muffin very delicious 
So I had two of those muffins today with some nut butter on top, but I'll usually have one or two. Okay, this is a lunch that I have been loving and it's so easy to make. I wanted to show you guys roast vegetable tacos. Very good. I'm slicing up some zucchini and about a medium sized red bell pepper, half of an onion thinly sliced and some cherry tomatoes, which I'm just halving, putting them on the tray. I'm just doing a quick spray of coconut oil cooking spray some dried chili flakes, make it a little bit spicy, some onion powder, you can use some garlic powder instead if you want to, salt and pepper, and let that roast in the oven for about 30 to 40 minutes at about 180 degrees Celsius, 360 degrees Fahrenheit, roughly. As a topping, I'm cutting up some avocado, I'm adding that to a bowl with some fresh cilantro chopped up, this is so good. Add some lime, a little bit of lime, some salt and pepper, makes a good little cilantro avocado topping you'll see. Okay, so the vegetables are ready. So I just heated up some corn tacos really quickly. These are gluten-free, so that's great. And then I add some of the roasted vegetables to each taco. And then I add a little bit of the avocado cilantro mix to each one. And that's it. It's really simple, but it's still tasty. I've been loving these so much. So I really wanted to show you guys, make them today for lunch and show you guys. <laughs> For dinner tonight, this is just something really quick that I'm gonna make. I'm draining a can of kidney beans and then I'm chopping up half of an onion and adding it to a pan with some of that coconut oil cooking spray. I let that cook a little bit first, as I always do with onions. And then I'm chopping up half a medium green bell pepper and adding that to the onion in the pan. I often add a small amount of water while I'm cooking a dish like this, you guys may have noticed. This is a great way to cook with less oil and to get, you know, less oil, less calories in your meal. Then I'm cutting up some button mushrooms, about two cups and I'm adding that to the pan with about one cup of the drained kidney beans. And then for some spices, I'm adding one teaspoon of onion powder, one teaspoon of dried oregano, some sea salt, some pepper, and then some lemon or lime juice just to squeeze. Then the main part of the recipe, I'm using two cups of zucchini noodles, which is just spiralized zucchini. You can make your own um, at home with a spiralizer. I just bought some pre-made zucchini noodles and it cooks really really quickly once you add in the zucchini noodles they cook really fast i'm serving that on a plate sprinkling some nutritional yeast on top i did about a tablespoon it gives the dish some extra flavor a slight slight cheesy sort of a taste it's really good this is a super filling dinner has lots of vegetables in it but it still tastes really good it's, it's got lots of protein in it it's low in carbs it's filling like i said which is great for weight loss so yeah it's a great quick easy dinner that i've been enjoying thank you so much for watching this video i really hope that you enjoyed it i hope that you found it helpful hope you liked seeing the recipes and what i've been eating in a day to lose weight um trying to lose 10 pounds here. I will link below, I know a lot of you guys have downloaded my um, free three day eating plan on my blog, but I will link that below if any of you have not yet downloaded that, got some new subscribers. So yeah, I'll link that below and you can go check it out, some recipes, the little three day eating plan. But yeah, anyway, thanks so much for watching. Give it a thumbs up. If you did enjoy it, subscribe to my channel for more videos, turn on the post notification bell, then we can go along this weight loss journey together this year and yeah i will see you guys again very soon